I don't know. Yeah. Cat. As soon as I said hello, the cat had been right here. And now, as you can probably see, he's over there. As soon as I said hello, he. Stepped off me, he was massaging my hip. And I thought I would do a little meditation as I was in the laying on my side position. We're listening to frozen holly branches. Battering the windows with the help of the wind. And he's just hopped off the couch now. So I had a uh, plan to do a certain meditation, and uh, I think that's changed. So I'm just going to lay here for a few moments with you, listening. To the sounds of the man-made and the sounds of nature. Hear a little buzz from the refrigerator not so far away. Hear the sounds of the glass, but also the holly and the wind. I can hear the furnace. wind has a memory or if it's just the most ephemeral thing. Where is it born? Science has some answers there. What comes of it when it's gone? The wave resolves back into the oneness of the ocean. Maybe something like that is true. As I'm talking to you, there's a little reminder to do a meditation coming up on the phone. I'll try and screenshot it. <laughs> uh. hmm. Letting my mind wander. Of mankind and man made. What would this world be? What was here before us? Not the glass of the window, not the refrigerator, not the furnace. Not the... But the wind was there. Perhaps the holly would be here. The storm, the wind would be here. Oh. This is not a meditation yet, you know, per se. I'm just letting myself shift into a place of meditativeness. And I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Getting ready to go outside and do some more shoveling and take a walk. But it's nice to kind of just not put pressure on myself. Okay, you know, I, I started the video. Let's do this video. Let's do this meditation. I was kind of listening, not even seeking so much, but something will occur. And of course, I had a little bit of an idea on Saki on me, and his plans changed, which is fine. I was just watching a video of Ramdas with a cat on him. Baba Ramdas with a cat massaging his belly. Only 
listening, I'm feeling my heart. Hear things more distant. And when your mind gets quiet enough, you start to be able to hear as if the volume has been turned up on what you want to hear. So I'm shifting to this place from my heart. You can hear, you know, further than I had begun by hearing. So let's do a meditation now where we are entering our version of a state of grace that we've seen represented in another teacher. So I say our version, so there's no pressure. We're not trying to perfectly, uh, you know, do that. We're just trying to enter into, sorry, we're trying to enter into our version. And so in this resting, listening, heart opening state that we're establishing or entering into, returning to, we can begin to see the being. So maybe for you it's Mother Teresa or some saint. Maybe it's your teacher or your grandmother. Maybe it's BD double two. Or as I mentioned, Baba Ram Das. Maybe it's Yang Chen Fu. Maybe it's Vivekananda. Maybe it's Muktananda. Maybe it's Osensei. And I enter into my version of their state that seems represented when I see them. So this entire thing is done kind of as an offering, maybe not to the literal being, but an offering to what they represent to you. Again, it's what they represent to you, not what they represent. If we say what they represent, it may seem like you could get it wrong, and let me go look that up. I misremembered what Mandela represents. I haven't read the history in a while. That's not the exercise. It's what they represent to you. So you can't get that wrong. And so I've kind of found myself in this breadth of heart, rest of body, quiet of mind. And I'm summoning, if you will, I'm, I'm seeing the being that for me will work right now. And I'm entering into a state that seems to me to be what they represent. So that could be mischievous, it could be delight, it could be patience, serenity, quietude. It could be healing or connecting could be nameless, but you just know it. So we could describe this as summoning, summoning this being into your room, into your space. That may be true. 
Don't know. But it does seem to have the effect of rededicating yourself to why it is you consider that being what it is you consider them. So. I think it's about time to do some more shoveling and listen to the winds. But my mood has unreservedly shifted. <laughs> so the preptures has to. Uh, this is the sort of thing it normally do at the altar where there's a, an actual picture of them on the altar and you enter that uh, uh, Demi Darshan. Okay. Thank you. Namaste.